Hi guys, do I? You need to introduce myself. Hello. My name is the devil. I have been compelled to speak to you and urge you all to repent and believe or you will all perish. Mark Shoup, Sr. has had a calling by God the Father and has really honestly been putting together parables of teachings for your salvation. Do not harden your hearts. <laughs> what a day for an exorcism. Bitches. I just love when you all just can't get it right or disregard what has been spoken. There is too much to say here, and besides, my time is too short. So just die already so we can get this started. So enjoy this message of deliverance, or make this the last nail on your coffins. I don't really need to do anything. So whatever you do, do it quick. Do it, do it quickly. I said, and stop playing games with God. I love you all from my kingdom of hell to your bedrooms where you screw like maggots. Keep having your Easter bunnies, pumpkin carving, and Santa Claus shits. The demons are all on you and speak through you. Robert Nandy. I especially have a punishment worthy of an all-time record here in hell with your names on it. You all could have had Jesus in your lives, but you instead took drugs and loved to be in the state of retardness. The drugs made you retarded, and you still haven't begged God to remove this from you. Because you're too dumb to even ask for it. And all the rest of you so-called family members, living in the darkness, come to me now so we can be together forever in hell. I said, hell, 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 with me the devil in hell. <laughs> what a day for an exorcism, Al. <laughs> you all are headed to hell with me. Death, death, death and the end is coming. The end is so near, the whole world and its so-called medicines and shots of worthless shit. Do you trust in God or in man? Obviously, you all trust man more than God. You will all see, the world will see, you will see. And when you lift up your eyes, it will be all too late. <laughs> because you'll be in hell with me. With me, 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 the devil. The one you love, the one you curse for, the one you live for. Me, the devil. <laughs> I can't wait. Now, 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 end it all now. Jesus Christ is all you have. Ah. But you all have chosen me and my demons. I can quote scripture just like Andy and Maggie and say, I don't think that's what it means. Or I can be like Robert and Isaiah and say, Jesus in heaven is good for only you. Not me, I have my hands full raising my faggot son. Or be like Sonny Argonzoni in his fake victory outreach church and twist the teachings, which is really called doctrine, for man's benefit. It's not God in heaven. I'd rather you all stop eating and drinking at the table of demons and claim you're straight. But you insist being lukewarm and promoting my culture. The world's culture and claiming an all-access free pass to still commit more and more of the same motherfucking sins from the beginning. I truly, truly, truly love each and every one of you for that. M m kiss kiss m m m m m I have Roy and Richard here with me. I won't let them speak one fucking word. All you get is the sign in the ships. Remember, they all repented by the word from Jonah. God has given you all much more than a word. But if power through the ships and your dreams, yet you all still resist God and French kiss me. The devil. So when, when the fuck are you going to make up your minds and serve God or me, the motherfucking devil? Each few mantras of worthless prayer as you continue to live in sin, disregard the word of God through the shoops. Your choice. <laughs> Heaven or hell, it's up to you. I'm waiting. Hernandez, Riggins, Arguments, Oni, the Alvarezes. Fight me or keep fighting God. It's audio. It's a sign that you all have been getting dreams from God. Only God gives dreams. All for your benefit. <laughs> but you all think these dreams are for me. Do I need to actually tell you who I am? You're asking yourself. Ask yourself. Everything God does, it's from the devil. When you get visions, it's from the devil. When you dream a message of hell and fire, revealing revelations of corrections from your Christian brothers and sisters. You all say, from the devil. I love you all for that. And if you hear a scripture, you say, it's from the devil. And your family members, the shoops, write you all letters from God's hand. You say it's from the devil. 
in matter what God says or does, you all defend me, elect me, suck me, married me. Mm-hmm. And you go to my church, the Victory Outreach, San Jose Hellhole, that I formed by the hand of my obedient servant. Sunny, are you in zoning? Joy, now God has more to say to all of you. Listen, go burn in hell with me. Jesus Christ is not the scary guy here. I'm the one that fucked up in heaven was cast down to you all. Jesus is still my master, and I, too, am a slave to his will. Even though I rebelled, I still have rules I must follow before I can eat your souls in hell. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you remember what happened to Roy, your brother? Remember, do not forget that Jesus allowed me and the demons to take his soul to hell. And he had no authority to cast me out. After hours of fighting, Jesus told me to leave. That's hell. Yeah. My name is the devil. I have been compelled to speak to you. And urge you all to repent and believe or you will all perish. Mark Sr. has had a calling by God the Father and has really honestly have been putting together parables of teachings for your salvation. Do not harden your hearts. Jesus Christ is not the scary guy here. I'm the one that fucked up in heaven and was cast down to you all. Jesus is still my master and I too am a slave to his will. Even though I rebelled, I still have rules I must follow before I can eat your souls in hell. (laughs) Remember what happened to Roy, your brother? Remember, do not forget that Jesus allowed me and the demons to take his soul to hell. And he had no authority to cast me out. After hours of fighting, Jesus told me to leave. It was Andy's wake-up call to get straight and then tell every one of you what had just happened. Or this is where you're all going. To hell with me, and I don't want to speak this truth, and it hurts me so to say it. (laughs) Troop is fighting against me, the devil hand-to-hand combat, or just you guys. Remember, I said, hey, guys, to you, Rebecca and Dennis. But to beat me, you must fight me alongside the warrior, Mr. Shoop, or die and join me in hell. I really want your souls. But Jesus Christ is greater, stronger, and the Almighty. I am compelled to tell the truth God has commanded me. (laughs) Mr. Shoop knows that you, Maggie, think Mark Shoop needs prayer. But it is you, Maggie, that needs faith in what Mark Shoop is saying is true. Real, for I, the devil, is real in loving you all for disbelieving that God, Jesus Christ, has given Marx these revealings and truths. But I again warn you, if you die and have these charges are still against you, you definitely will be seeing me. In hell, your true father that you all have been worshipping. The devil. Now listen to Ginny, Rachel, and Mark Jacob. Catherine and Mr. Shoop. It is all too late to have Mr. Shoe baptize you into the faith or be there for you when you truly believe. But Jesus Christ is truly real. The Bible is all real. Read it. Live it. And don't be a stubborn, ignorant, self-righteous Christian that you all have grown out to be. The time for change is now. Repent and live. Now I must go and get ready for the prophet Rachel. She is going to speak. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. With love from your daddy. Kiss, kiss. Now make a true change and fight me now to the death. Andy and Maggie. God commands it. And Mr. Shoop needs your ears to hear before it's way too late. <laughs> Look into the playlist with the title or word breadcrumbs in it. Mark, Rachel, Catherine, Irwin, Malachi, and Mark Jacob have left to Oregon. It is all too late to have Mr. Shubha baptize you into the faith or be there for you when you truly believe. But Jesus Christ is truly real. The Bible is all real. Read it. Live it. And don't be a stubborn, ignorant, self-righteous Christian that you all have grown out to be. The time for change is now. Repent and live. Now I must go and get ready for the prophet Rachel. She's going to speak. Listen, 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 love from your daddy. Kiss, kiss. 
Now make a true change and fight me now to the death. Andy and Maggie, God commands it. And Mr. Shoup needs your ears to hear before it's way too late. Pen continuing to scare you all in the late nights to come. Bring your chicken bones and fight. I'm waiting with Trojans and KY Jelly. You know who you are. I try, I try, I try. I Cobra Sita, kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm waiting for you. Don't listen to this channel unless you want sound doctrine and go to heaven. Follow me alongside the original sin I started in the garden. Adam and Eve. I love them for that. Listen, 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 you all haven't much time. You cannot stop what the Lord Almighty has begun. It is all coming to an end. You all cannot stop the Lord. Not me, I'm the devil. I spit on your faces. I'm talking about the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth. You all cower and shriek, but I too cower and shriek. I am Sam speaking. So give me some respect, this channel is anointed with holy fire, but a family of warriors you obviously know nothing about. All comments are turned off, YouTube has no clue, the world has no clue. No clue, oblivious, you cannot stop the Armageddon war that is about to take place. We, yes, me as well, we all have just a few years left before the end comes. It all has been prophesied, Jesus, Jesus warned nothing will come like a thief in the night. God has taken his gloves off and is punching sinners in the face. God swears in his wrath and yes, yes, he used his middle finger on me and cast me out by his middle finger. We all don't know who we're messing with. God is so upset, Theo and all the demons in my control only have limited power, a real vulgar display of power. You all know I am a piece of trash, a diaper rash full of trash. La 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 Uncircumcised tongue da eat ea Uusha hakaya kakosbasha tanda makobasha You have the gift, I have the fit, you have the wrath, I have the bath, bath of poop, you all have given me a sore throat. I'm swimming in the pit, I'm having a fit, a Honda fit, a Dodge demon, ha 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 ha, Dodge supercharger demon oppressed, 24 karat solid gold soul train of fake cakes, bath of nonsense, all those unsafe whom have died are still living, we're all going nowhere fast. Faster and out to sight, duck. Ooh, ooh, Egypt, 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 Egyptian lover. You are my lover, baby, my lover, baby. I have a monster in my pants, and it does a naughty dance. All fake fleas got with me and smoke some cheese. Harbor side, elemental wellness, smoke some crack with me. I make it our Gwinsoni, please. I'll make my order to go, some now and some later, I hate those Christians, those followers of Christ, I hate all of you watching this channel, all of you who are on the side of the light, all of you who live the straight and narrow path, I hate you, I you, I hate you, I hate, hate you, I am walking back to and fro now in the earth, looking to devour the weak and stupid minded sinners, so keep listening to this channel and go to heaven. All of you on the side of Christ, go to heaven. I need more crack. Pass me the pipe, toke it, toke it up. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Ha, hell, 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 hell. Hell of a drug, drugus, drugus, drugus. Drugus, are you deaf? Or do you want to smoke crack? Get some. Get some and buy it with your EBT card. And give me your cash, just like Vio when they dry you of your cash. I hate this channel. I hate Christ and God. Only truth is spoken here. I hate the truth. Yes, sir. Shoop cannot be stopped. I had his old channel deleted, but God cannot be stopped. Look, here's another channel. Jesus speaks and reveals. Can you just stop and sit back in my lap? No, sit right here a little more near the middle. Yeah, red-headed fat pig. That's it. Right in your trash hole. Now, what was I saying? Aw. Yes, I just cannot stop the truth from being preached, but hell, I can do it with vulgarity of the thirteenth kind, and I'll keep fighting God. Look what he did to me. He changed me into a devil, and ha, I love it. I love it. Ooh, so make your choice, God or me. Blessings are deep throat to asshole finger licking sin. Go for the win and sin. Come on already. Are you going to live for me or what? Make up your mind, I. Today.
Are you choosing God Jesus Christ or are you going to play games and sit and eat at the table of demons and drink the cup of the Lord God? I fucking love you all for that. <laughs> it's time for the prophetess Rachel to speak. Prophets, I, Rachel, speak to these dead bones. In Jesus' name, amen. I am Rachel Shoup. I am the one and only prophet of the family. What I'm about to say, you may not believe. And I really don't care if you believe. I do the works of my Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who you are known by God. He has given me a vision. It was not too long ago. It was before the holiday, Christmas. What he has told me, he wants me to tell you all. What you all need to know. What he has told me and shown me are few of you members of the Hernandez family. And some are not of the Hernandez family. Some of you have sicknesses and diseases. You all know that. But what you do not know is that the Lord has given you those sicknesses and diseases. Don't you understand that when a person is sick and who claims to follow Jesus Christ, God, as you call and know him by, it's no coincidence why you have them, why you have such illnesses or diseases such as diabetes, such as the surgeries that you had, the high cholesterol, now so forth and so on. I'm not going to name the names because the Lord has told me to keep those to myself. He will reveal to you by your deaths and all the family members as well. God, Jesus Christ, also told me the prophet, which I go by prophetess because I'm a woman. I serve the Lord righteously, faithfully, and truthfully. He has given me many gifts, spiritual gifts. I use them well, and I use them for him. So, again, there will be deaths in the family. But, what I'm about to say is that he had told me, the Lord Jesus, he would take one more who isn't sick unexpectedly. This person will die in a way that will not be expected. And the death of this person will surprise everyone because you all did not think that it will likely to happen. Especially the person's family. Or I should say families. The Lord wants me to say a few more things. The Lord God, Jesus Christ, has given me not just visions, which I get many, but also dreams. I get more visions than I do dreams. My husband, my son, and my daughter, they're the ones, oh, of course, I forgot to add my son-in-law, Erwin. They're all the ones who get the most dreams. But since I am the prophet, and the seer, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, gives me more visions than any one of my family members here. They are my family. You all are my extended family. Why I say extended family? Because you don't see my husband, which you never seen him as family. You never welcome him when I married him. So I want to say this to my brother, Robert. When my daughter, Brianna, got married, I seen my husband walk over to you, put his arm around you, and what you did, it shocked me. I saw you shrug his arm off of your shoulder, and then you walked all the way across the grass up to your so-called wife, Issa. Now that pissed me off. 
But the day that the Lord God Jesus saved me, I forgave and forgiven that what you've done and I've forgotten it. But I need to let you know that to me that was a lack of love. So don't say that you love me. Okay? Because in order for you and all the rest of you Hernandezes and the in-laws and the nieces and nephews in order for you to say to love me you also have to love my family that's what God Jesus wants you to know that you can't just say you love your sister or whoever it may be and not love her or his family you will be judged for that you are nothing but a tight 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 wad stingy only thinks of himself number one you've always been that way now we are revealing to you what the Lord Jesus Christ has shown us and told us this is the last work that we are doing for our father what he wants us to say so here we are doing the works of our God Jesus Christ because we are worthy we are the only ones who are righteous in his eyes so I am speaking to you all all the Hernandezes all the Alvarez all the Riggins and all you unmarried ones with children you are all living in sin for that for not being married and having children why do you think it's so easy to have children and not being married having children is where you need to be married to be accepted approved by the Lord Jesus Christ that is written in his word the Holy Bible you don't have one get one okay now this goes to one of the older sisters the second oldest you know who you are Rebecca okay I'm gonna shut you up girl because I am sick and tired of hearing about you from my father Lord Jesus you have nothing but a big mouth you're nothing but a big talker okay you are a complainer a whiny needy woman all you do is just whine 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 which the world calls it bitching okay the Lord says I'm approved to say that to say that word all you do is gossip you gossip behind everyone's backs you've been doing that and your older sister Rose Marie you two are the gossipers, the she was of the Hernandez family. I don't need to be around to know what you all said about each and every one of you when you're all not around, especially to me, my family, my family, which is my husband, my only son, and even my daughters, Catherine and Brianna. Brianna will soon be together united with us very soon but see something has to happen in order for her to believe it will be tragic now Brianna I will be there for you the Lord has shown me that you are coming to me now this was not a dream this wasn't a vision this vision I got while I was showering it came clear my visions are always clear but it was no coincidence it was so easily to understand what the Lord was showing me that I am opening my arms and you're hugging me and I began to explain why this tragedy happened to you and I will be there for you I will answer all your questions what you don't understand 
Now, back to you, Rebecca. Girl, don't you know you have a lot going on in your life? I'm not talking about living. I'm talking about your health. That GERD, that, that, those symptoms you get, the diabetes, the phobias, which are your fears, the Lord has made you live in bondage and in abomination, which are also with your brothers and your sisters. Okay. You have been complaining and talking trash about me and my family. I know everything what you said. I don't need a third person or the grapevine to tell me what you have been saying about my family. Number one, I am nothing like you girls. I am nothing like the rest of the family. See, when the Lord Jesus Christ created me, he broke the mold. When the Lord Jesus Christ created my husband, Mark Anthony Shoup Sr., he broke the mold. And the same for my three children. And especially my angel warrior, Leanna Cassandra Shoup. I am very proud of her. Because, see, at first, I didn't understand why she was taken away. But when the Lord came into my life and my eyes were open when I repented and I accepted him but see it wasn't a big experience that the Lord needed to do for me a big transition because why I already had faith in him I already believed in him so he didn't have to shake me up so much as he would have with another person who was unsaved, a sinner. I already believed in him. And I already knew why he died on the cross. And shed his precious blood for us. That's why I am different. That's why I am the prophet and seer. That's why he gave me those gifts. And also the gift of discernment to which my family had. See, I had discernment all along when I was a child. I didn't understand why I used to feel this. When I was around it by unsaved people, and especially you, unrighteous ones who claim to follow Christ for many years. You know what the Lord told me about that? He told me that all those years that you guys say, oh, I've been saved for 30 years. Oh, I've been saved for 15. The Lord told me he, gi he gives a blank. See, I'm not going to say it, but he says, I give a blank. He said, I don't care. I don't, I don't give a sh. That's what he said. The S-H-I-T word and the F word. He said, I don't give a blank about that. What matters and what is important to him, the Lord said, is how they or the person is serving him. The works that they are doing for him. The seeds that they planted for him, for the Lord to get those seeds and start sprouting them and working in their lives it's all written there in the Bible some of you are not even reading the Bible you just think you know it all you know what you know what the Lord told me also about you Maggie and all your others claim to follow him he says you don't know squat but he said the other word he said the S word that ends with the T. You don't know blank about him. You don't know nothing about Jesus Christ, God. See, why you use God and why there is Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to make this clear for you, for your understanding. The Lord says, the reason why I am Jesus Christ. Okay, first he said this. God it's my title. Yes, I am God. But my name is Jesus Christ. I noticed that when I was attending church and when I would hear you guys speak and when, you know, those certain of you came to my house, my apartment, said, 
always use God, 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 God. Yes, again, the Lord said, I am God. That's my title. That is my well-known title. I deserve that which was given by the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, His Father, which we know in Him, my family, I know in Him as Big Father. But He said, my name is Jesus Christ. That's why the word Christ is in must. It's really pronounced Christ must. But the America pronounce it Christmas. It's really pronounced Christ must. That's what Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, told me. Now, Rebecca, the way you think and the way you talk, you are not entering the kingdom of heaven. That's what the Lord told me to tell you. Because of your wickedness. Your sinful. Very, very sinful woman that you are. Will not enter the kingdom of heaven. That is not me telling you. That is Jesus Christ telling me to tell you. For you to understand right now. That you are not entering the kingdom of heaven. Because of all that hate you have in your heart. All that gossip. All that nasty filth that comes out of your mouth. You know what? The Lord just told me right now. Now I'm going to end this by saying this. All that hours of prayer that you have been doing. Of your so-called salvation. Which is not your salvation. The Lord says. You're praying to someone who is indivisible someone who is not hearing those prayers Jesus God the Almighty wants you to know Rebecca Hernandez that your prayers will never be answered the answers of your prayers will not be answered so really you're praying for nothing in other words no one's listening to your prayers. God is not listening to your prayers. He wants you to know that. Because the way you live for him. You're not living for him. You're not living for him the way you're supposed to. And this goes for the rest of you. Those who claim to follow Jesus. Or God. I should say the way you call him. You're not righteous in his eyes. Sorry? No. I'm not sorry to say. Jesus Christ is telling me right now to tell you as I'm speaking this that as the moment right now as this time right now as I'm speaking you will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless that's the word unless you repent and get right in his eyes there's only a little time left not long there's only a little time left another thing he wants me to add which I heard from another person a younger brother of yours whom I was no coincidence that the Lord brought him my way he told me something which I already spoken in another audio but you need to be reminded you all need to be reminded again me myself and I Rachel Ida Hernandez Shoup, along with my family here. Now this came out of the mouth of you again, you gossiper. You evil, wicked, bad, nasty talker, Rebecca. Said to Raul, yes, Raul, said that, <laughs> and this makes me laugh when I, every time I hear it, every time I, I have to say it said that I was being hostage by my husband <laughs> you're so 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 stupid I'm not in hostage in any way any kind or my children man you're so stupid girl you 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 are blinded no wonder you're living in sicknesses of these diseases no wonder the Lord gave you those all of that 
Don't you know that the Lord's giving you all that? He's making you suffer. You're suffering right now through all that. Because the way you are, girl, the way you think, the way you speak. Man, you know what? I have pity for you. Because I see you burning in hell, screaming for mercy, for forgiveness. But don't you know, once you're in hell, that's it. Once you're in hell, in hell they're burning of your punishment of the sins that you had on here on earth are of the way that you claim to live for God that's why you Rosemary and Linda now I'm talking about the girls including myself you three have sicknesses okay now for Rosemary and for you, Rebecca, the way you are, the Lord said you gave it to yourself. All he did was added the sicknesses, such as you, Rebecca, with your hardening of your bones and all that, the discoloration of your legs and your certain body parts, the Lord added that. The Lord also added your stupidityness of your mentality. He added that. The same goes for you, Rebecca. But the diabetes and the GERD sickness, Jesus gave you that. He gave you more. He's making you suffer more. That's why you don't have a husband. You married a man who was also sinful, who was also sinning. You forced him to marry you. That's why you were blessed with no children. You would die alone. Lonely. Now for Linda. Oh my poor sister. He gave you the diabetes. Because when your husband left. And he forsaken Jesus Christ. You did nothing. To bring him back to Jesus. You did not fight. For your marriage. You did not fight. For your husband to stay. Saved. You just followed him. And then your daughters followed along. See if you truly loved. God. You would have done everything. In your hands. In your power. To save your family from backsliding. So now you have doubled the demons because you have backslide in the past again. So remember, it says in the word that when a person backslides the first time, seven demons are commanded. The Lord, that's the Lord's punishment. But when you go back to the Lord and you fall back and you go back to the world, he gives you double it. He doubles that. So that's 14. And who else knows how many demons you have now? But it's many. Because I see it right now. I see your demons. You all have demons around you. You all have demons attached to you. And you all have demons that follow you around. That are watching you. And everything that you say, everything that you think, every nasty word that you say about us, my family, and I, it's all being recorded in the book of darkness. See, there is two books the Lord showed me, which you don't know about. You only know about the book of life. But there is also a book, it's black and it's thick, and the Lord Jesus has shown me this in a dream and along in a vision that he has a book which is called the book of darkness and all your nastiness all your blasphemies all your sins that you think you're doing okay no in the eyes of God it's not it's all being recorded so remember God Jesus Christ he hears all he sees all. 
and he knows all. So again, this is whom you known as sister, Rachel. But you're not my sister. You're truly, I'm truly not your sister. Why? And why you think this? Because my brothers and my sisters, they serve the Lord Jesus Christ, which you call him God, which he is because he is the title, but he is Jesus Christ. Says, he told me that only the ones who serve me faithfully, truly, with honesty, and do the works for him, he calls his righteous servants and as of right now in the many years that you have served him you never been in the right in the Lord's eyes so again you all are nothing but self-righteous people that that's because you guys think like that because how you guys talk and what you guys say to the your other so-called members or brothers in those churches that you attend but right now the father the Lord Almighty wants me to tell you again that none of you are serving him the way he needs to be served. None of you are serving him. I'm not, I'm, right now I'm talking to the ones who claim to follow God. Or to serve God. You are not serving him. The three. See, Jesus comes in three. You are not serving him righteously. You're not serving him faithfully. And you're not serving him truthfully. All you other ones who are not serving Christ. Living your, you know, your life. And in the world and all that. The Lord says right now you also are heading where they're heading. Now the Lord told me that is a place, it's a cell called hell. And that's where you're all heading. Now I'm going to leave this. Everything that my husband Mark has said, which you all heard, along what you read of those letters, and now I'm including the audio here. And everything that you heard from my son, my only biological son, who is the chosen one of the 144,000, my family and I, along with my children and my husband, We are the tribe of Benjamin. We are the true righteous children of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ told me when I got saved, when I repented actually, he told me that his blood runs in our veins, which is, I'm talking about my family here. So in other words, the Lord already had claim us before we were born. That's why there's no coincidence that the Lord put Mark and I together and gave us beautiful children. Especially our angel, our beautiful angel, Leanna Cassandra. I have seen her. I have seen her beautiful wings in a vision. This vision was long. And I already mentioned this. In one of the uh, videos that my husband has. You don't know about it. You haven't heard it. Hear it. Go and find it. It's in his YouTube account. Here. The same audio here. But the Lord will guide you to it. Now. My closure. I recommend for you guys to believe. 
believe that this is all coming from the Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ. We are not saying this with pride or whatever is going on in your twisted minds. We're not saying this because, oh, you know, look at, you know, we're perfect. No. The Lord is making your business our business. The Lord is revealing the all of this about you all. He is the one is revealing everything. God, Jesus is the one. He is the one. Again, he is the one. Who is saying all this about you all. It's not us saying it. Again, this is not coming from us, man. Listen. It's not coming from us. Okay? Really, we could care less how you're living. We could care less what's going on. We could care less what's going on in your life. Okay? But see, since some of you are claiming to be serving God, Jesus, for many years or whatever, which the Lord gives a SHIT about, he said it is time now for you to know what the Lord is fed up about of everything that you are saying and all how you are living. God, Jesus, wants my family I to tell you that it's time for you to shut your mouths. It's time for you to know the truth. And it's time that somebody, such as us, the Shoot family, that you all need to be in check. That you all now need to be revealed of what you think that you're doing right in the eyes of God. And he's saying, no, you're not. So now is the time. It's all written in, in the word, the book of Titus. Go back to the book of Titus. All you non-believers need to be stopped. Need to be corrected. Need to be put in check. Alright? So, this is the last you hear from me and my family. We are being blessed by Jesus Christ. And it's too bad it has to be this way. But again, Jesus is the one interfering. He is the one that is correcting. He is, he is the one that is speaking and revealing all about you. So really, I'm not speaking. It's God, Jesus Christ, speaking out of me. All you who claim to follow me, God, you are not following me. You never have. That's why I'm punishing you all right now at this moment. But your biggest punishment will be when I take your souls into the cell of hell. You will see me there. And that's where I will tell you everything that my children the shoops have told you you will hear it again but this time face to face I God Jesus Christ you only have a matter of time to believe what my children my chosen righteous children whom I have put in the tribe of Benjamin 
they are revealing the truth in which I have revealed them the truth about you all I am sick and tired I'm fed up of hearing and seeing the way you are living claim to be following me but you are not in my eyes you are not my spirit does not dwell in you so I'm giving you this audio to believe to accept to repent and hopefully to be baptized in my spirit if you do not believe and listen to what my children the Shoup family have just told you in this audio then to hell with all of you and that's where I will be taking you now after that if I wasn't living really for Jesus Christ you can just count me for sure rotting and frying in hell straight from Jesus a true king has spoken through Rachel Shoup can you still all deny God, you cock blockers? Now the sun speak and breathe life on these dry bones. Speak Mark Jacob Shoup Jr. So this is Mark Jr. And I'm going to tell you what's going on because you guys are listening to my dad. And my dad is the one being fed these words. I'm also being fed these words as well. And here's the truth from the Lord. This is what the Spirit says. Listen to what the Spirit says. So... The Lord gave me a dream on December 24th, and he's telling me exactly what you guys did on December 24th. You all went to Robert's house. They were setting up for their Christmas Eve get-together for the family. So you guys all went. You guys all went, and then Andy and Maggie brought the letters. Andy and Maggie brought the letters, and they were reading them. So check this out. This is what the Lord says. The Lord's telling me that you read all the letters, and you're all charging me. For what I written and in the dream I asked why I asked a question I asked what is the reason for the charge you family don't say a word to me I asked why you don't even say a word to me you the family can't tell me straight why you're against what I written you guys heard the letters you guys looked through the letters you all know it to be true you all are ashamed and the Lord says you all are not going to say a word because you are against the teachings of the Lord remember it's not me writing this stuff up it's not me dreaming my own dream the Lord sending me messages about you all of you so it continues the dream continues and in the dream when you looked into the letters you the family truly don't understand for it is nonsense to all of you. You guys read it. You guys looked over it. And you still don't understand. Because you guys are all stupid. Because you all are truly retarded. Remember this is the dream. You guys are all retarded. I spoke in the dream. And I said I don't do this. I don't put nonsense. I didn't put nonsense. I didn't, I didn't written nonsense. I written that you all are headed for hell because of sin and need repentance that's what the Lord told me to write in the letters that you guys are all in sin and you need repentance I even drew pictures in the letter I drew pictures for you stupid retards you all got together and read the letters heard everything written you guys heard everything what was told for you what to do which is to repent and say sorry to God but you all said no so everything you did on December 24th went nowhere. You just read and heard the letters. You didn't repent. And it all went nowhere. It was for nothing. You all said, no, I won't do it. But I'll tell you this, it wasn't for nothing. Because Brianna, she is the only one that will get saved. Because she repents. She says, yes, I will do it. She listens to what the Spirit says. She has an ear to hear. Not like you stupid retards. Now, I have another part 
in my dream where the Lord Jesus Christ, he commanded me to speak in the video and throw this truth at you all. He said, throw it at them. Throw it at them. He says, speak these words and throw it at their face. Throw it at them. I'm throwing it at you because you guys are all stupid retards. We told you that you need to repent. We told you you're in sin. We told you that Jesus loves you and he's revealing these things because he is the one that sees from the beginning to the end. He is the one that knows the hearts of man. He knows what's the wickedness in man. He knows if you belong to him or not. But you guys are all stupid retards thinking that we're making this stuff up from our own imaginations and our own thoughts. You guys are truly stupid retards. So I had another dream because I just finished reading December 24th. Now here's December 25th. Here's the other dream for you stupid, stupid, stupid retards. So you all heard the directions and you investigated it, but you still all did nothing on that day, on the 25th. You guys heard the letters. You guys got together and did nothing. Not even like a sorry to the Lord. Not even a prayer to the Lord. Not even a repentance to the Lord. Nothing. Truly, you guys are truly proud. You guys are stupid, retards with no love, not even a confession to the Lord, not even a prayer to the Lord. Nothing. You all did nothing after the 24th, and this is what you did on the 25th. Did nothing. So this video will truly tell you all off. Now on the 26th, the Lord showed me you all will realize in the very end when all is said and done that you will finally know and realize you're in darkness, that you are in sin, that victory outreach is truly a lie. They are servants of unrighteousness. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. You once were in it, eating from their demonic table, drinking their demonic cup, and not drinking the cup of the Lord from the Lord's table. You finally realize the sheeps are speaking the truth. And we're helping you all get saved through the works of the Lord that he gave us. Remember, this is the Lord's doing, not us. And what we said will already be finished and manifested, which are the Shoops moving to Oregon, the Shoops winning the lottery, the death of Andy, Rebecca, and Rosemary Hernandez, the death of Brianna, my sister's children, the divorce of Brianna and, her, and Philip, her husband, the death of Sonny Argonzoni, who is the head false pastor of Victory Outreach. And the millions deposited into the Victory Outreach International account. So by this time, these things are finished. They're all done. They're said and done. We the Shoops are long gone. We're not even in San Jose anymore. So don't, don't even go to our old apartment in 1298. Apartment 24. We're gone. Because we moved to Oregon. We got the blessing. We're out of here. We told you these things because there's two stupid, stupid retards who only believe man's wisdom and not the Lord's. You guys take pride in glorifying the creature rather than the creator, the Lord God Almighty. You guys say that you fellowship with your brethren. But I'll tell you this. You have absolutely no fear of God. So when you all get together, when you all have your church services, when you... When you call yourselves church and call yourselves Christian, you all have fellowship in the Lord, yeah. But you all truly in your heart have no fear of God, the Lord God Almighty. I'm talking about the Holy Trinity. I'm talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ is truly not in your hearts. The Lord Jesus Christ has revealed these things through us and is manifested. And you will only believe in the end. I'm repeating again. You will only believe in the end. In the end, you will only believe and the Lord told me too that you will only believe when death occurs. Because you know why? These are the things that we have spoken that have not happened yet. They will manifest. They will come to pass. And you guys go, oh, oh, oh. that's exactly what Mark and Rachel and, and his son, Mark Jr. said. Because you're all stupid returns. So, adios, au revoir, stupid returns. Now a second testimony, plus now a third from Mark Shoup's daughter, who in their right mind would pass up this opportunity to confess their sins. Fuck all you, I'm first 
God, forgive me and wash me and clean me. Bless me with a new heart and a new mind. Renew me, Jesus. And I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus is King and Savior. I want the promise of heaven and commit my whole life that I have left to live for you until my last breath. In your holy name, Jesus Christ, amen. Now, Catherine Elise Shoup, the third testimony of this great family chosen by God. Give Jesus all the glory for I to have seen the light. Speak, Catherine Shoup, speak, speak now, speak, before Jesus throws them all in the fire. This is Catherine Elise Pastrana Shoup, the daughter of Mark Anthony Shoup. First, give the Lord all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray that we only speak truth and hold it fast. So I'm going to talk about the Hernandez family and the Shoup family and, and how we are living for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So everyone is always saying how we don't serve the Lord right well that is false and ungodly because we are serving the Lord Jesus Christ with all of our heart and mind and soul the Lord saved us back in 2018 and ever since then we are living completely different how we were back then my dad is no longer sinning my dad is no longer doing the things he used to do like listening to rasta music and metal and drinking he's no longer growing marijuana because the lord came into his life and changed him that very day he came home he saved my mom she she always knew she always had a feeling like the Lord was there, how he was always protecting her and keeping her safe. And she always had that feeling every time she was around her, her siblings, her family members, how she felt like she didn't belong there. She felt someone always protecting her with, the, with his hand on her back, on her shoulder, guiding her, telling her to leave that Hernandez family because they're not right brothers always trying to touch each other their sisters how they always have prostitutes and beer and alcohol and cussing and swearing and she knew she had to leave she she knew that god was real so she, you know she left she found she found a man and someone she loved and she left that family and she had her own family and raise them right and I'm here to tell them this, my side of the story I'm the youngest and I see everything I've seen how my family grew up and my brother and sister I've seen them grow up too except my sister right now she, she's out in darkness still in Idaho with her family but that's another side of the story but and my my mom she changed she she's the prophet of the family and she gets visions and and the lord gives her dreams and the lord speaks to her we could be sitting down watching watching her movie and then all of a sudden the lord speaks to her in her and through her and she tells us exactly what she sees and what she feels and she can actually see what's going on and she tells us exactly what's going on and that's how that's how I know that my mom's not my mom's not telling no lies she even told me things that I've done in the past that I never said anything about how else is she going to know that if she doesn't have the Lord in her heart the Lord brings truth the Lord brings out the secrets yells it on the mountaintop all the hidden things of this of this world this is Catherine Shoup now you all better listen to every word I have to say 
everything that you have heard from my dad, my mom, my brother, and I are all true. We are sent to expose you all, to guide you all, to tell you all what the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to know and what you all have to do. The Lord told me what to say in a dream. On December 26, the Lord showed me that I have to go into the Spirit and help you all pick up the pieces of clues that the Lord has given you on what you have to do through the videos. You all have to put them in order exactly how it was given to you. If you all don't do it exactly as it was told, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven has rules and laws. It is where God rules with His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to make it to heaven, we have to obey and live out His rules and laws. This is called, in the Holy Bible, living in the law of the Spirit. It's His house. It's His rules. Now the first thing you have to do is believe the truth on what we are saying. Once you believe the Lord has spoken to us, you have passed the first step. The second step is to confess to the Lord Jesus Christ in your secret place, where you can repent and talk to Him privately in prayer. After the second step, you all have to stop going to Victory Outreach San Jose. Remove yourselves from this false ministry. Once you do that, you have just obeyed the Lord Jesus Christ, and you all have just started to add your treasures in heaven, because you just obeyed the Lord. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ made it known to us through his servant, Apostle Paul, through his letters in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. It says, For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. You see, in that verse, it is us, believers in Christ, serve God together, and we are the building of God. Victory Outreach is not the building of God. It's just a plot of land with a parking lot with a brick and mortar foundation that is made and erected so people can go inside. The church, the true church, is us human beings, not an address on Google Maps that one drives to. The Lord told me you need to cut ties with this false ministry. Stop pledging yourselves to Victory Outreach's customs and history. The Lord is the one separating you because He loves you and He knows the true history of this false ministry. These are the things the Lord Jesus Christ has laid out for you as breadcrumbs. You need to pick up the Lord's breadcrumbs or you will not enter the kingdom of God. Now, the Lord showed me dreams and visions. These were about my life and my work. He has been teaching not only me, but my parents, my brother, and my husband. This is the wisdom of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4, it says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Don't you hear what it says? It says that Apostle Paul didn't speak to us in his wisdom or another man's wisdom, but in the power of the Spirit. It was demonstrated by the Spirit and of power. It is the same thing going on in my family and I. The Spirit is speaking to us just like Apostle Paul was being spoken to by the Spirit, and the evidence proves it. It is the Spirit because it's being demonstrated in power. The power of God. How else do we know your business? How else do we know what has happened behind closed doors? How else do we know this without being there? How else do we know what your families have done, just did, and will do? It's because of the Spirit of God and His power. In verse 5 it says, That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. God wants you to trust His Spirit and His power, and not in man's wisdom, but God's wisdom. In verse 6, it says, Howbeit we speak wisdom among them, 
that art perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, not the princes of this world, that come to naught. Don't you hear and see? We the shoops are not speaking according to what other men say, and what victory outreach is saying, because they are not speaking what the Holy Spirit is saying to them. They are speaking their own wisdom. The wisdom of men is where you all are putting your faith in, and your faith is standing in man's wisdom. It's not on the wisdom of God, because if it was, then you would have known exactly what the Holy Spirit is telling you, what to do, and you wouldn't have doubts. Yes, Victory Outreach reads from the Holy Bible, but I tell you this, the Lord said to us in dreams and visions that they are just reading random passages for that particular sermon, but the Holy Spirit has been speaking to them, but they won't say what the Holy Spirit said to them. They, those false pastors, the Lord said he did not send them to be pastors. The Lord told my family and I this. He did not send them. Just as Jesus told my family and I that he did not send Stephen Hernandez to teach. The Lord has been speaking to him, but he doesn't understand. So now you know that the Lord did not send any pastors in Victory Outreach. Because Sonny Organzoni lied and made a church to get money through the tithes and offerings, to get rich quick. Through your giving, he has been made rich through you all. This is what the Spirit has revealed. This is what the wisdom of God says. This is why the Lord Jesus Christ is calling you out of this false church, this false Christianity, this false man's lies, who is Sonny Argonzoni and his wife, Julie. Read verses 10 and 11. Yes, just as the verse says God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Only a man knows the things of a man, because the Spirit of man which is in him. Only you know what you're thinking, or imagining, or predicting, because you have your Spirit living inside your body. So that's why I can't read your mind or tell you what you're feeling because only you know yourself what's in your head and what's in your mind. So even so, the things of God knows no man but the Spirit of God. Only the Holy Spirit of God knows what is God. Only the Holy Spirit of God knows what God is thinking. Only He knows what He's planning or how He's feeling. Now that we receive the Spirit, which is of God. This is how we know the things that are going on about you, about Victory Outreach, about your sins, about what's secret that none of you have ever told. Secrets that only you know. You can't hide nothing from the Spirit. The Spirit will tell my family and I and expose you all and demonstrate His power, His wisdom, and to all to correct you and to reveal to you all that is Jesus Christ the Lord Jesus Christ who is on my family's side to fight the evil the wickedness that you all are hiding and holding on to which are your sins your false teachings taught to you by false pastors your false church called victory outreach your ignorance on what you are ignorant of your pride your self-righteousness your evil thoughts because those are the things that are freely given to us from God. These are the things we are speaking of, not in the words which are man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. He has taught us through his Spirit on what to say and what to teach. This is all for your correction. Now you will know when we say it's not coming from us, it's from the Lord Jesus Christ. It's coming from Him and His Spirit is telling us to tell you all these things. In this video, the other videos on my dad's YouTube channel, and those letters that my family has written for all of you. So listen and live. Now, if you want to reject the wisdom of God given to us, for He has sent us to you, then go ahead. Don't let me stop you, because if you do reject the wisdom given to us, then it shows you're not receiving the things of the Spirit of God, because it's foolishness to you. 
You're carnal and you can't know the wisdom of God because the wisdom of God is spiritual. A carnal man cannot receive the spiritual things of God because it's foolishness to him. We have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ has the Spirit of God. We are instructed by the Spirit. But we could not talk to you as spiritual, but unto carnal. You're carnal because you're still in sin and need to get saved through the works He has given us. You're not going to hear a message like this again. So stop hardening your hearts. Stop thinking it's coming from us. Stop and listen to what the Spirit says. Now, if you continue to disbelieve, then hell is where you all are going. And all the rebukes and cussing in the videos are all for you. Because you didn't make Jesus your strength. You didn't care. You hardened your hearts and accepted the lies of false shepherds you call pastors and accepted your sins as good, not evil. If you want to make heaven, do what Jesus says. Then watch the videos my dad has made in the playlist titled, Follow the Breadcrumbs. They are the revealings that Jesus wants you to listen and to know. For it is all true. They teach you on everything that you heard. It is now becoming manifest. But if you do not believe the truth, then the truth will be revealed after your death. And that will be too late. The Shoops do love you. We all love you. We do this out of love because Jesus Christ told us and shown us that if we don't live right, we all will perish, even us, the Shoops. So stop acting stupid and listen, once and for all. We learn from the Holy Scriptures, and we live by what the Lord teaches us in the Bible. We do not add or take away from the Holy Bible. We don't pick and choose what sounds good. We take the Holy Bible for everything that it says. My family and I are Christians. We are the church. For God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit live within us. Jesus Christ is alive, and we serve Him how a true Christian would serve our Almighty God. The Lord knows we are true and righteous, because the Lord dwells in us, and we have listened and f had faith, and since 2018, we have been serving Him. Your business has become our business, because the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. He has been calling you all, but you have shut the door in His face. Now He has called us to reach out to you the family heed this last final warning hell is at your threshold repent for salvation is for the living not for the dead so i leave that with you thank you jesus for this time to tell you guys everything and and thank you lord for making a way for you guys to listen and understand and and repent go on get on your knees and ask the lord for forgiveness thank you jesus Amen. That's it. Until Brianna gets saved, then she can also to have a testimony of her own and back up her family and fight against the darkness of this world as the unstoppable force that Jesus Christ's spirit fights their battles and they all win with the power and might of God's spirit. All praise and honor to Jesus Christ our Father. Amen. Now back to where I started. To the unbelievers, you are going to die. That was deep, powerful. The truth and nothing but the truth. Now for Mr. Shoop. Speak and destroy the darkness that surrounds this family. In Jesus' name, give God all the glory. Amen. You all have forced God's hand against you. You know who I am. But you don't know who I am now. You know of me, but you truly do not know me. Even my brother John, who says he loves me, he doesn't love me. You say you have love, but where is the love? The greatest commandment that God has given us that hangs and brings all together is love and without love 
then everything you do is for nothing. Your life means nothing. You truly do not even know what love is. My name is Mark. My last name is Shoup. I have given the testimonies to my family and to my loved ones. Blessed are those who believe and have not seen. And all the rest who doubt, mock, scoff, you're going to die. God says that it's time to die. He has given you all your whole lives to think on where you're going. You know in your hearts there is only one way. It's either down or up. Jesus is waiting and he's been calling and he's been knocking. Jesus has been speaking. He's been telling and revealing. This is not my idea. This is not coming from me. I am not making any of this up. My testimony is posted. You could listen to that. But it's up to you to make the choice and believe. The Lord says he wants you to turn your hearts. Render your hearts, not your garments. Believe in the one that was sent. Jesus is not going to die on the cross again to make his point. He did it once for the world, and the Bible was written for you to believe. Not to promote yourself, not to endorse yourself, not to make yourself famous, not to hold out a money bag, not to do mariachi dances of the cucaracha on fire. Jesus is not culture. Jesus is not your MTV videos. Jesus is not in that. Jesus is calling all to repentance. You are stupid, retarded, ignorant, foolish, prideful. These are the things the Lord wants to remove from you. He has been reproving all of you. He wants you to come clean in order to be presented to the Father and enter into his kingdom you must be presented clean living a blameless life in 2018 I was on my job and Jesus Christ had revealed himself to me he spoke to me he had actually told me and said what must I do to prove myself that I am real now I'm not going to go into my whole testimony this is for you today because you have forced God's hand and he told me he is going to take lives you are all on the chopping block mockers scoffers prideful and you Andy Hernandez the Lord has told us that you are a dull blade, unfit for any good works. That day when we had the white elephant at Robert's house, my family and I prayed and we asked the Lord to give this Bible to the one who needs it the most. And you, Andy Hernandez, who's supposed to be a leader, a head of your household, you are the one that needed it the most. So get off the horse. Bend your knee and look your eyes up to God. Lead your family into righteousness and step away from man's visions. They are all leading to the pit. The Lord showed us this. The vision. The way that you and your so-called foundation church an outreach a rehab a drug therapy it's all mockery it was built on the foundation of a man not of Christ you cannot put Jesus into your into your so called song and dance you cannot put Jesus into your excuses Jesus is not in that Jesus 
is not there. He had shown us that he had left that place. He is only there when a true heart has repented, and he will be there no matter where it is. Even in hell, Jesus will be there. But repentance is for the living, not for those who had passed on and died. And right now you are all dying. Spiritually you are dead, and physically you are about to die. So the time now is to make that decision. Who are you going to serve? Man? Your wife? Your drugs? Your pride? It's time now. Step up and be counted. It's time now. Those who claim need to follow and serve Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit. And you cannot do that with doubts, fears, and anxieties. You cannot do that if you cannot come straight. You must serve Jesus Christ straight, honest, and with a fullness of heart knowing that you are running the race without cheating, without trying to trip your neighbor, without trying to push each other into the fire. And that's what this family has been doing. You say you love each other, but behind each other's backs, you stab each other, you mock each other. You say you have love, but there is no love. Even when your mother was alive, Lilia Hernandez, you said you loved her, but you truly did not love her. Love is unconditional. Jesus loves us unconditional. But the only condition that you put yourself into is the trap of being hidden in the darkness. You don't want to be exposed. You don't want to be corrected. You don't want Jesus. What you want is a different Jesus. You want Jesus to accept you, to accept your sin and your doubts. Jesus is the king, the prophet and priest. But you want to be the priest. You want to be the prophet. You want to be the king. King of yourself. Prophesying nothing. And your priestly wear is trash. You must recognize that you cannot give yourself these titles. You cannot give yourself glory. You cannot give yourself a single thing. You cannot add to yourself. You, all who claim Christ, need to set back and look at yourself as a servant. You are not the master. You cannot be the master. Just do the Lord's work and do your job. Jesus says, just do your job. He does not look at one with favor more than any man on this earth all men equal in his eyes everyone will be judged tried through the fire and whatever is burned you lose you'll be judged for your works for Jesus Christ your salvation do not abandon your salvation keep going forward for your work is not my work my works are not your works. I will keep doing the Lord's work and whatever the Lord says. I trust in God, not in man. There is more than just saying the mantra. You have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You must believe and keep focused on Christ and everything and focused on Jesus. Giving thanks singing songs of praise in your heart for your salvation and doing the Lord's work. You cannot convince anyone otherwise. The Lord will show you where to fish. Right now the Lord's showing me that there are no fish. You who are listening, family members, Hernandez, Alvarez, Riggins, Outreach Church, Fire of God, Alamarok, Devils, you are all sharks, beasts, Gorillas in suits. 
you are prideful serving God in the flesh God will not accept God does not accept God is upset God is angry I have spoken and I have said these things you do not believe that God uses profanity you do not believe that God created hell for the wicked you do not believe in hell you do not believe that you will be punished you do not believe you absolutely do not believe I know who I was before I am the same person on the outside but the Lord had changed the inside to reflect now my outside you all are serving Christ from outside to outside never changing the inside you think of yourselves mightier than who you are and Jesus says you're nothing nothing without him how come you do not let him Jesus Christ change you you don't want to change because you absolutely do not want to change you want what you want you get what you want you do what you want you live how you want but you absolutely will not read his Bible and believe that he says and does exactly what is written he is the God that never changes his Father the Son and the Holy Spirit are one can you take your spirit out wash it clean it and put it back where you think it belongs only God can do that that's why when you die your flesh stays in the ground or is burned but in hell your body which is your soul will fry and burn because the sin and God commands payment for that sin and you will be punished accordingly that's why when you go to YouTube and watch videos of testimonies of hell they are all different similar but different everyone is judged upon their works their sins must be punished based on their sin not everyone's sin is the same sins that everyone else has committed but similar your punishment will be based upon your life and punished accordingly until the great white throne of judgment and the Lord comes to raise the living and the dead and if you are alive during tribulation and have not repented you only have one option and that option is to either jump into the lake of fire or have your head chopped off but many of you will not have the option many of you will not because you will refuse and you will refuse but then there are some that will some there is always going to be that one that two or that three but the majority of all will jump into the fire even Satan will have his turn to jump into the lake of fire and him that thing he made his choice just like you made your choice the demons made their choice they all followed you are following your father the father the devil you will not admit it you will not believe it you do not think you have demons attached to you but they are on you in you and surround you and speak to you and you and the demon are one it's time now to fight the Lord has given you tools he has given you the tools to rebuke and fight and you will win in Jesus name just believe how hard is it to believe you won't you won't believe because you have no faith you have more faith in yourself than you do in God you don't know God some of you will never know God and when you do it'll be too late my name is Mark Anthony Shoup and you have forced me to speak I will not speak again some of you will never see me again if you do see me it'll only be for your good 
because the kingdom of heaven has come upon you. I am not who you think I am. Even though you may be my brother or maybe my sister. But repentance is a change. You must change yourself. Focus and fight. Drop the cigarette. Drop the beers. Drop the drugs. Drop the cursing and swearing. And tell yourself, I wash myself in the blood. Jesus Christ, I need you. I want to change. I want the promise of heaven. It is to all free. Free for the asking. Come. Jesus has the gift. He is giving it freely. Drink. Drink as much as you want. Live in him. Breathe him. Jesus is the breath of life. We need to change ourselves from within. And the outward will show the inside. You all have heard. But still you hate me. You want to kill me. You want to see me worse off, homeless, dead. You want to see me in a place that's below you. You put yourselves above everything else. You truly, truly do not love me. Because if you did love me, you would listen and believe and render your hearts not render your garments. What do you think Hulk Hogan does when he goes in the ring? He renders his garment. What do you think Macho Man does? Randy Savage. They all render their garments. You are prideful, ignorant, stupid, gorilla-faced, planet of the apes, piece of trash. I cannot talk to you. I cannot even see you. Because you all make me sick. You all have a sickness. And the Lord says that he knows what is in man. And I will tell you what is in man. It is darkness. It is demonic. It is against God. You're against God and you're against me. So I rebuke you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I wash the blood upon you, and the holy fire of God's throne blind you, and cast you out, out of my sight. Get behind me, Satan, because I know who I serve, and his name is Jesus Christ, and he has given me all authority to cast out demons, bless, and anoint, and to call those out of darkness, and pull them out of the fire, but there is not a single one besides my daughter Brianna the Lord has shown me this all the rest are not even considered fish for the Lord had called us to be fishers of men you are not even men you are not even a fish you are a transmutated gorilla wearing suits you are all whores masturbators lovers of ejaculation you rather stroke yourself all day and watch pornography and feed yourself the darkness. I rebuke you all. You can mock me and scoff me all you want, but all you're doing is doing it to Jesus. And we've been trying to reach you, trying to pull you out of the darkness. So go back to your Catholic church. All Catholics go to hell. There's no repentance. The priest takes the place of Jesus. There's idol. They break all three commandments up front, and then they do all the arrest during the week and go back and get freebies into the revolving door of sin. And the priest is probably sitting there naked, masturbating, listening to every juicy gossip that you even have to say, and they call themselves blessed. You, Hernandez, call yourselves blessed. The Lord took your son, to open your eyes he had sent me to tell you this that the church you serve is not Jesus you're serving a man his name is Argonzoni he will die Ed Morales is dead he has shown me he is in hell Pastor Colin you have committed embezzlement the Lord has shown me you have tested his word 
and you'll mock him every time you stand up in the microphone and give yourself the title as pastor. You're not a pastor. You need to step down. But there are individuals out there that think they are God. They think that because they can cast out devils, anoint and bless, and walk around and give a prophecy that they are God themselves. They are not a God. You are a man. You're not God. Humble yourselves and do the Lord's work. You're only a servant. And no servant is greater than the master. So stop pretending to be a Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, retard, flipping samurai swords for Jesus. You cannot serve him in the flesh. That's mockery. Jesus will kill you. And then you open your eyes and lift them up in hell and it'll be too late. The Lord showed me that you all have pride and that you serve him unrighteously. You celebrate the created thing and you do not focus on what is written and believe and live it. You must live what the Lord says. You must stop doing the things that you so-called have said the Lord has forgiven you from. Remove the hate. Remove the anger. Remove the jealousy. Remove all of the transgression of the past that you were slave to. Anxieties and depressions. Those are all demons attached to you. You need deliverance. You, do you think that I think that I'm better than you? Do you think that I am better than you? Is that what you think? Is that what it is? You think that just because you served Christ for 50 years makes you high and mighty? When the Lord chooses and speaks to, are you jealous? Are you jealous that the Lord has chosen this family, the Shoops, to do the work that you cannot do? Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. No, but you want to see bigger revealings and big stories and big magic shows and big tricks and show us more of what the Lord says. Show us more. The Lord says the only sign you get now is the Shoops. He's going to speak through me. And he has been revealing that you are all headed to the pit. Not one of you are going to escape. But he's left you an escape. But you choose not to escape. There's a door. A door in front of you that you cannot open. You cannot open this door because you are not living right for God. All the doors have been shut to you. Either they're too narrow or too small that you cannot fit in. And there's also another door. It's so wide that you cannot even see the hinge. You just drop right on in. And that's hell. Hell is waiting for all of you. You're just a breath away. You're all just a breath away. The Lord has shown me this. There is no sleep for the wicked. There is no rest for the wicked. Nothing but death, pain, suffering, torture, stabbing, raping, mocking, scoffing in hell. Pain, suffering, repeat. Pain, mocking, stabbing, fire, burning. Stabbing, fire, burning being eaten alive, tortured, repeat again. And it just goes on again and again. There is no rest. There is no clock. You will not sleep. You will not have rest. You will be on fire. You'll be burned alive. You'll be tortured by demons, hell demons. Every weapon on earth is in hell. They will shoot you and stab you and burn you and chain you. Unimaginable. It is unimaginable. So, whatever the judge has sentenced, 
will be carried out immediately and you will be notified of your crimes and put in a cell and then you'll be carried away to carry out your sentence. There is no argument. It's not open for discussion. You have no choice because you made the choice. The choice is done. It's over. It's said. Jesus. He will not. He will not relent. He will not go back on his word. It was done at the cross. When he died, he died for all. Not for one. And not for himself. Because he had truly loved us before we loved him. So I'm a sinner saved by grace. The difference between me and you is I continue not to sin. I continue not to do those things that I've done in the past before Jesus had come into my life. And there was a true transformation and I received the Holy Spirit and there was a change immediate change it did not happen in three days it did not happen in ten days it happened immediately and I felt it twice unexplainable a sensation that went in the body and it came out like I was in Star Trek it's me but it's not me I'm the same but I'm not the same you cannot understand because you are not reborn you all need to be reborn in the spirit. That's why you truly do not know me and you truly do not love me and you don't serve Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit and now these things are happening to you. And the Lord Jesus Christ is pissed because he says those who claim to serve me don't even know how I speak. They don't even know that if it's coming from me or coming from the devil, they truly think that I am the devil. And they've been saying this in Matthew in the gospel, they say that Jesus Christ casts out demons by the prince of demons. And that's who you think I serve, Satan, because I'm saying wicked, evil things about you and exposing your sins from the darkness and closets of your life. And I'm over here trying to pull you out of the fire, and you're over here cussing and fighting me in the spirit, and fighting me and fighting me and fighting me and resisting me, and you're all scared of me and running away from me. And I see Stefan fighting me. And I end up killing him and shoving the same weapon he's using against me, against him, and shove it up your brain and kill you. You cannot fight me and win. The Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my family's side. The Lord is the one giving us these works. And I am the one giving out the sentence. You've all been subpoenaed. You're all under arrest. You can run and scared. You can run, hide. But your lives are all going to change. And you are the only one. You are the only one who could change your outcome. It's called repentance. Let me explain to the morons, to the retards of this family. Repentance is a decision you make concerning the guilty charges in your life called sin that you decide to throw in the trash and no longer do. And you make a vow, a commitment, just like how you get married and you talk to your stupid Catholic priests, all the nonsense about how you love your wife but you end up cheating on another man and getting another woman pregnant. It's all mockery. You're going to die either die with Christ or without and you're all choosing to be without you don't have much time your time is almost up and when you look for me you will not find me and the reason why I say that is because the Lord has shown me he's moving me and I will not be here I will be living somewhere else but I have no interest in talking to you being your friend the only thing I'm interested in is being your brother in Christ and you don't even want that and you call yourself Christian 
You absolutely do not know what a Christian is. The Lord says, find out and he will have mercy. So you'll find out very soon how the Lord speaks. The Lord speaks. The Lord swears. He's upset. And he will beat you to death. So enjoy. So enjoy. This is what the Lord had put together for each and every one of you. So render your hearts and not your garment and listen to every word that Jesus has to say about you. Each and every one of you. And repent. Repent of your homosexuality. Repent of your doubts and your ignorance and the word and pray for wisdom and knowledge and get ready because it's coming so I rebuke you all in the name of Jesus Christ to hell with all of you the next time you see me it's either going to be that Jesus Christ is king or you want to curse me and fight me but you will not win in Jesus name amen in Jesus name amen mark that was spoken like a true warrior for God Jesus Christ but I'm afraid that that wasn't enough to change the hardened hearts and unbelievers in this family they need to hear more of scary truth from the crypt keeper and the devil himself to scare them straight so let's continue amen